In the 1940s, Edwin H. Land conceived of the idea of producing a photographic process that was so simple, one would simply click the shutter and the photograph would come out fully processed. In 1947, he mostly realised this vision and the Polaroid was born. Initially, the process required the user to peel away the negative from the positive print, but over time, the process developed and this was no longer necessary. However, it was not until 1963 that instant colour was available through Polar Colour. Polaroid produced both cameras and film. The film enabled direct positives to be produced. This means that the camera effectively produces a negative and turns it into a positive within the camera. The photograph that prints out is the end result of that process. As the works are direct positives, people using Polaroid film do not need to take their works to the factories or shops to have them processed. There's therefore an element of secrecy and privacy, but also it's exciting instant, able to capture and hold a photograph of the scene before you straight away. The immediacy of the prints also means that they can be used to test photographs for shoots, ensuring the light and composition works before committing to taking photographs with other processes. This is something that can be seen in the V&A's collection of works by Glenn Luckford, a renowned fashion photographer, showing both the test Polaroids and the final photograph. The instantaneity meant the processes were used as a means of quick, artistic expression by artists including Andy Warhol, Dado Moriyama and Linda McCartney. The V&A collection includes a series of large-scale Polaroids taken within the V&A Museum, including a series by Helen Chadwick entitled Meat Portraits, showing highly considered still compositions of fabric, meat and other props. The rich colour of the Polaroids enhances the image. Polaroids can be highly light sensitive and are prone to fading and colour change when exposed to light. Display of these objects therefore has to be carefully considered. Polaroids also scratch very easily and their surface shows marks such as fingerprints. They should therefore be handled carefully with gloves. There has been a recent resurgence of interest in Polaroid camera, film and the overall aesthetic. A new generation are being introduced to the wonder of taking a photograph and relatively instantaneously holding that material tactile photograph in your hand.